All right, good afternoon, everybody. So uh, we just wanna bring you guys all in and just go over the procedure and how to bring in the kids, sitting them down and the whole thing. So when you guys do come in, you guys already know you're gonna come in there through that door, this door. If you guys come in through this door, you guys know that you're gonna come all the way to the front and then we're gonna work our way backwards. Same thing on, on this side, you come, you're gonna come and get your foot over there and uh, start here and work your way backwards. If you're at the end and say uh, you need two more seats, then you'll jump over to the next uh, stage of cross. Uh, so making sure when your kids are coming in, uh, they grab their lunch and they come and you sit up. Uh, I normally put uh, tape on these tables uh, so the kids know where to sit, but the kids take them off. So I'm just trying to uh, stay up with it, but it's, it's hard. So you guys already know that it's four uh, students per, per sack. So there's going to be eight students per table. So make sure, uh, make sure you guys are here on time. That's the big one right there. Our teachers might come in a little bit early. They'll drop their kids off, but they're not supposed to leave until you guys get here. So if you know, if uh, say 15, that's when the kids are supposed to be coming in and eating. Uh, teachers are bringing them in at 10.05, 10.10. So try to be here. If you're gonna be late for whatever reason, let us know ASAP. Because what's happening, these kids are being left unattended and uh, we don't know who's watching them. And before we know it, you know, there's a big mess already and, and we're trying to locate the person that is in charge of their group. Uh, when, you're super, uh, when you're supervising them, make sure you guys say don't leave them unattended. You stay with them. If you need to go to the restroom, please do it before or after. Don't do it in between unless it's an emergency. Let somebody else know, hey, I need to step out and give me a minute. Uh, just don't leave the kids unattended, please. Seating procedure. So with, like I said, when they're coming in, say there's a class that's going to take uh, a table and a half. So the next class is going to come. You're going to don't sit on that same table with that class. Uh, go to the next uh, empty table because we want to make sure that the uh, we don't mix none of the cohorts. If we're having our classes uh, sit in front of another cohort, and once we go back to the the tracing, then you know we can't we can't have that. Mm -hmm. I they do. I know the smaller ones. There, we have like a little uh, buddy system where you you set two together like the kindergartners. Uh, do that. Don't do more than two. If they do get up to go to the restroom, make sure they have their mask or their face shields on when they go and they come back. Don't let more than two go because. You let two, and then somebody else lets another two, and then you end up having six, seven, eight kids in the restroom. Uh, there's the older kids, you know, just one at a time. Uh, just make sure that they're coming back and, and everything, and they're washing their hands. When your class is done, uh, make sure you go around and pick up all their trash. If you guys are done early, you guys could leave. Just make sure that all the kids are done eating before you guys start uh, taking off. If you want you do take off, this is the main exit that we're going to use. So if you line up your kids on the left, on the right, and you go straight out. First class that go out, that goes out. You guys uh, pop open those doors and they do those kick steps and the doors stay open. And then making sure that the kids get that hand sanitizer on the way out here or uh, by the hallway or before they get to the playground. And uh, replacement of the mask. If any kid drops their mask, or I see where kids take another kid's mask and start playing with it, passing it around, just get the mask, throw it away, and then ask Ray. Ray has extra ones for adults and students if, if you know they, they tear them up or if, you know they're messing with them. So please make sure we are uh, uh, giving them uh, clean masks. What if it's one of their masks, like the one from home? You know, the material mask. Get your stuff. Hey, you know, I'm gonna give you a new one. Put this one away because it's dirty. You don't okay. want you know kids running around. On the floor with the pass and I see they take it away and they're playing with it, just give them a, give them a clean room. Okay. okay, as far as uh, milk replacements, I know some of the kids just go ahead and grab the bag and they don't want a chocolate milk. Um, and they want a white milk or vice versa. Uh, no matter what milk they want, whatever milk that they have in their bag, have them keep that one because there's no way we can have it taken back because they don't want the exchange. Um, and, uh, and also, we're noticing, just keep an eye on it. The kids are sharing. You know, they're gonna to wanna to share the food or, or trade or whatever they wanna do. We just can't have any of that. Um, and again, if they want something else, we can go ahead and give it to them. Whatever they didn't want that they already have, they gotta keep that. But they just want as less contact as possible. So that's what we gotta make sure that they, that they have. So that's all I have. And then just basically at the end, like for the older kids, the second and the third group, there's a lot of kids that are not eating. They basically just leave their back there and don't eat. If you go around, just talk to them, hey, what's going on? Eat your fruit, drink your milk. Uh, more likely they will. Just tell them, hey, drink at least your milk, and they will. And a lot of these kids are, are not eating at all. They're not eating until they're getting home. So, you know, from 8 in the morning till 2.30, they're, they're not eating anything. So just make sure that, uh, you know, we go and encourage them to 
if you eat and uh, just please help us out. We can share with you sir. social distancing, washing their hands, everything. We've got to maintain our school open and we can't do it alone. We need um, everybody's help. So with that, any questions?